Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're in the data center as much of rest of the planet we are having a nice heat wave so the best place to be is in the scorching hot data center um, I'm lying a little bit because it's early in the morning and my data center is air cooled from the air outside so the air outside is actually only 15 degrees Celsius so it's nice and cool in here actually cooler than the rest of the house but never mind I uh, did a video where I tried to put in a graphics card in the awesome Lenovo X3650 Model 5 over here and I failed because uh, well I measured the graphics card that I have it right here that it wasn't too long and that it wasn't too high it, it would fit in that regard but then I ran into the problem that over here it was too high well wide high fat well the graphics card was too fat over here <laughs> so um yeah I gave up on that idea but then there was a lot of comments well there were some comments just suggesting that I should just well take the fans off and I hadn't really thought about that so they kind of suggested just the last fan but I, I think I can take the whole fan assembly off here and, and put that in and see if the server will cool it so um, yeah that's the general idea for this video we're gonna take the cooler off the fan put it in the server see if it works and if it um, if it gets enough cooling so it's gonna go in the awesome Lenovo X3650 model 5 and that is running Windows Server 2019 and um, as we're gonna be messing with it it had some updates so uh, I'm gonna shut it down but it's gonna be firmware updating first so over here we have the graphics card and I think that we have three screws here and it seems that we have three screws here and that's about the screws that I've been able to find so far and then I think there might be some clickety click thing here but we will see that oh there is also some LED thinky in here that we're probably gonna have to uh, to deal with get rid of let's unscrew this uh, the tiniest little screwdriver It's uh, some of those tiny screws that will evaporate and just disappear into thin air if you don't put them somewhere safe. Oh, screwdriver isn't, isn't magnetic. Can we pick it up with a pair of scissors? Yeah. Oh, that's a different screw. That sucks. Oh, the short ones are up here yeah it's already really loose oh dear all the fans are connected hmm hmm so that thing might just be the RGB thing Okay, so the plastic comes off and there is a cable and that's probably just, there are, seems to be two lighting strips down the side of the GPU plastic thing here. But then the three fans are mounted individually to this. So if we could just take this one off, that might actually do it for us. Ah, except they have connected all the fans to one cable, but not great for what we want to do here. The first fan goes directly into this block, then the next fan has this block, and the third fan has this block over here. I think we just have to try to dis dismount everything and see if it will run without any fans. Oh, this one is not just gonna fall out by itself. That was in there. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll dismount the fans. There's like three, four screws in each of them. 
Yeah, four screws. That's gonna take a bit. Okay, so after removing 15 million screws, oh, there was 15, there was four screws in each of the fans, and there was a tiny screw uh, to hold the cables in place as well. So let's see if this doesn't come off. So there's a connection here. That is taped. Yep. So here we have the assembly. Okay, that's the way. Um, it's a little bit of a shame because, well, servers, they cool from the front and to the back. So they suck in air on the front of the server in the rack and then they blow it out the back and uh, with a graphics card the front of the server will be up here and then the server will do everything it can to blow the air that way and all these fins is pointing the wrong way they should really point this way for this to be optimal because the server is going to try and press the air out this way and the easiest way from the air is just around the heatsink so um, yeah, it's not optimal here, so that's a bit of a shame, but let's see if it isn't enough airflow anyway. Um, otherwise, it's, it looks to be a really good heatsink. Looks, like looks like the GPU is here, it moves the heat over here and over here, so it's, it's really trying to get rid of it. In the meantime, the server has completed uh, updates. You can see I'm up really early to, uh, to get an early start and uh, work in the data center before it heats up too much. Nice and updated, so let's shut it down so that I can mess with the car. Update and shutdown. Even more updates. Oh, uh, this is planned, continue. Okay. I hope it doesn't take too long. No, it didn't. We're around the back here and it's a cable mess, I, um, I do admit. So it's uh, this server down here. We have the, the monitor and the mouse connected to that. Plus it's connected to the, to the Hewlett Packard uh, dash down there. So let's disconnect that first. There, the server has shut off. Let's, let's also just power it off. It is also connected to the um, to the battery UPS. 10 gig Ethernet here. 1 gig Ethernet. Put those aside. Mouse and monitor. Those there management adapter in here so now it's uh, disconnected from everything so everything is off let's pull it out oh I don't have the CD-ROM drive for this uh, I've been <laughs> people has been pointing it out so I've, I've, marked, I've put a piece of black tape over the front where the big gabbing hole of the CD-ROM drive used to be oh, open sesame we have the other graphics card in there uh, that we uh, reinstalled after that I couldn't fit the other one so let's see if today is the day where we can we can take that out and have the other one in that, that was the plan anyway there and this one is the oh I forget it's on the label right here it's an AMD RX 480, uh, that's about it. Hmm. And we have the riser card here. The top one is a real X16. The bottom one has the X16 connector, but it's really only an X8. Um, so you can use X8, X4 and X1. Uh, and they will have all the connections. You can also put in an X16, but it will only have an X8 real connection in there. But the top one is real, and that you can see that the top one also supplies 75 watts, whereas the X8, which is the connection down here, is only supplying 25 watts. 
so that's another difference there. So now we are ready to try and put this in. I do believe that I have dusted it off when I when I got it. It was really dusty. So um, did I did I even mention what this was? We might just go over that as well. This one is the Rogue Strike GTX 1070 Ti AAG Gaming, made in China. So it's definitely a gaming card, but um, yeah, sometimes they will work in servers. Let's see how our luck plays out. So that's going to be very interesting. I have another card over here, that's a mining card. So that one is just there. So how does this fit now? It fits way better than with the fans. But how much will it be complaining now that all the fans are gone? And we need to plug in the X8 connector here. That's an X16. That's an X6. So this is an X8. There. Well, now it fits with room to spare. So that's cool. Okay, the server is powered again and I have uh, gone ahead and opened up Windows server 2019 and I was gonna try this GPU set newer version is available there always is every time I use this there's always a newer version available so I don't use it that often <laughs> but uh, it already sees the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 Ti even though I hadn't installed the driver yet I had prepared that I wanted to install the driver but I think that it's using um, it recognizes the card because it has the driver for the for the mining card in here the NVIDIA P106-090 so it's uh, it probably knows this card from those drivers but I uh, think I'm gonna try and uh, and install the newest NVIDIA driver uh, because I just downloaded that there so I'm going to try and pop that in, even though it already works. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to try and install that. I'll let you know how that worked out. That worked out fine. Cool. Okay, so I actually wanted to stress test this graphics card a little bit. Uh, so I tried to pick up the newest Cinebins R23, but it seems like they have removed the option of, uh, of GPU testing in here. Uh, or at least I don't know where to find it right now. I'm testing the CPU um, I don't know if that's good or bad, but it, it's it's there So I'm rather interested in the temperature of the GPU If that goes up and uh, we are dealing with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 Ti I went ahead and I, I popped in the old Sydney bench where there is a open deal uh, test for the for the GPU so we're gonna hmm how rude well in that case we have to go back to our stress test here folding at home so let's see if the temperature goes up and it does so before it was at about 33 35 degrees now it's at 57 degrees and GPU load is, is 95% so that temperature is not bad the CPU temperature is way higher but that's that's okay as long as the GPU temperature is lower but it, it keeps climbing up so let's see where this goes and let's see how much the graphics card produces here let's see the CPU the points per day oh that's not true and that's definitely also not true and it hasn't found a job for the for the mining card over here not gonna worry about that right now but yeah the CPU just went way up 
usually when they reach about one percent it's it becomes more accurate so let's see and this one is going to do 1.5 million per day so that's really nice hard working card there and the temperature is up to 83 degrees let's see where it ends okay it seems to have settled down it, it reached 83 degrees celsius you saw that and uh, it did that again now but it, it dropped down i've seen it at 82 and it even dropped down to 81 so it's probably going to be around there and it's still working hard in the background well you can see it, it's doing stuff there it's working hard on folding at home the estimate has dropped a little bit and so has the CPU but still around 1.5 million points per day so it seems to be working well 83 82 degrees Celsius nice I am surprised I was expecting a lot more difficulties in getting this to work I was expecting the graphics card would be complaining and wouldn't want to run or something but well to go off the fans put it right in and no issues whatsoever even found the driver because it had that mining card in there already and it just crunches out and folding at home so that's cool now this server isn't going to be crunching away at folding at home it's it's going to be the chair mining thing and it will get back to copying my uh, my chia plots over as soon as i'm done with this video but um, i might just let it run uh, folding at home also for a day or so just to get some points so, um, i am still running folding at home but i have kind of settled down to a very low level but i am glad and proud to uh, be able to announce that my playhouse team on folding at home is number 97 in the world so we uh, we breached in uh, top 100 so that is cool so yeah I'm gonna let this fold at home for a, probably a day or so and, um, and get get some good numbers so please um, remember to also do folding at home a little bit now and then so that um, we uh, keep our good position so, uh, and it's for a good cause other than that it's just great that this worked and thank you very much to all the people in the comments that said that well you should try that and um, yeah i should probably have tried that so thank you very much at the very end here i'm gonna be a total sellout and tell you about bargain hardware the co.uk where you in the united kingdom can get five percent off of your purchase if you use the checkout code my playhouse small letters and um, yeah you get nice server equipment and workstation and pcs five percent cheaper just because you know me just just say that I send you. Well, you do that with the checkout code. So, uh, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.